hi guys hi everybody welcome back again today we are making this lovely shirt booboo -boo, which can be styled in two ways as a dress or as a jacket quite simple to make you can make this in less than an hour so try it and let's see how yours comes up thank you so i'm making use of these two different fabrics one ankara and one striped um, material so i'm going to make use of one and a half yard for the ankara and for the other striped material i'm just going to use about half yard or less for it okay so before we start we are going to fold our fabric our one and a half yards of fabric into four so you first fold it into two then you fold it again making four after folding it you lay it down on your surface make sure everything is aligned perfectly but you can make use of two yards or more depending on your size so to start with i take the length of my dress i'm making use of um 37 inches length and then afterwards i take my across back measurement my across back is 15 so divided by two is seven and a half i take my seven and a half and on my seven and a half mark i take my neck width which is two three quarters and then i take my length which is three my neck length which is three then i connect with a curve so for my back this is on two folds making four so one is for the front one is for the back so my back length depth is one inch okay so on my across back measurement i go down by one to slope like usual so after sloping that one i just connect it down to the end of my fold that i'm going that area is going to serve as my sleeve this is just like how we did it other boo boo we are cutting the sleeve together with the entire dress okay so afterwards i stand on my shoulder and then i take my shoulder to nipple shoulder to waist shoulder to hip then i take my round measurement my bust is 34 but for this being a maxi dress i'm going to make use of 40 so instead of 34 i'm marking 40 so 40 divided by 4 which is 10. my hip on my hip i'm going to make it 44 so i'm going to make it 11. i want this dress as loose as possible so afterwards i connect or i draw a line to connect my nipple line or my bust line to that of my hip line then to that of my length so for the down part or my length of my dress i'm just going to repeat the measurements i took for my hip which is 11 i'm going to repeat same for the down part of my dress and then connect by a straight line so now for the sleeve i realized that um the leftover from my, of my fabric was too long. I wanted a really cute sleeve. So on my shoulder slant or my shoulder point, I'm just going to measure around 5 inches on the slope. And then on that 5 inches, that is going to serve as my sleeve length. And then I go down by 7, which is going to serve as my around arm. Then I curve from that sleeve to my bust line as so so i connect from my sleeve to my bust line by a curve like so afterwards i cut everything through don't forget that um this is on fold so we have we are then they are going to have two pieces the top part will be seven as the back piece and the down part will be seven as the front piece because what we are sewing or the style we are sewing the front is open that is why i used 
the open side of the fabric to serve as my front okay so after we are done we just take the back off because that is all we're going to do and now we work on the front so i stand at my neck width point and then i go down i take the length for my length i took seven inches length but whichever length that you want you can stand on your neck width point and then you come down by the length that you want and then you just draw a straight line to connect from your neck neck width to your center front neck line the length that you want so after this is done i'm just going to shape the front a little by just cutting the rough edges out and then cutting through that new neckline that we've drawn i'm cutting that area out so this becomes our new neckline for the front so this is how the front is going to be for this booboo -boo jacket style so afterwards i bring back the back so this is the back and then i lay the front on the back joining it from shoulder to shoulder so i lay each piece of the front on the back piece like this so the shoulder meeting the other shoulder so i'm just going to sew the shoulders by half an inch on both sides i'm going to do that and bring it back to show you so guys after joining the shoulder this is how it looks but first i'm going to flatten the shoulder seam so that it will lay down well and neat so i press them down i press the allowance down so that it will come out as neat as possible so after pressing it this is how it looks from the inside everything is laid down flat okay so at this point we are going to take or measure the open side the front side i told you the front side is open so i'm going to measure all round the length of the entire open front from one side of the front all round to the other side of the front because i want to know the length because we are going to use this length to cut a striped fabric that we are going to attach so after taking it all around i think i got about 80 inches so on this same 80 inches we are going to cut a striped fabric 80 inches as well because we are going to attach it to this front side and then i'm also going to take the length of my around arm because i'm going to attach some of the other fabric on my around arm so taking the length i think i got 15 i have 15 here so i'm going to cut two pieces of 15 for the around arm so this is my stripe fabric obviously the length is not up to 80 so i'm going to cut some stripes and join them together to make sure i get my 80 inches for the front as well as two 15 inches strip for my around arm so the width of this is going of each of the strip is going to be five so i fold in this by 10 and then i fold it into four so it's going to give me four pieces of strips with each one having a width of five so I press it down and then I cut it out. I 
I wasn't really sure of this whole combination. I was a little skeptical about combining the stripes with the Ankara fabric, but at the end of the day, it turned out really cool, like really nice, really, really nice. And I loved it. So sometimes you might not be sure about what you're doing, but I think it's the end that matters. It's the end that always matters. All right. So like I said, I'm going to have four pieces or four strips that I'm going to join together to have a really long strip to attach to the front of the Ankara. So I'm going to divide my piece again by into two, which is going to give me four singles. one two three and then four so i'm going to join them first with pins so i take two of them and then join them together with a pin then on one end i attach the other piece secure with a pin And then do the same for the last. So now I'm going to measure, take measurement of the entire strip to make sure it is up to the 80 inches that we need for the front. But I think mine is longer than 80 inches. So I'm going to make sure it is up to the 18 inches, 80 inches that I need. So I cut the excess off. So I'm going to use the SS for my pockets. And remember, we talked about the sleeve. We are going to attach some to the sleeve. And the sleeve length was 15. So I'm going to take two strips of 15. This is longer than 15. So I'm going to cut out 15 inches from it. Then time for my pockets we are making a patch pocket so i'm going to fold in the leftover of my ankara into four and then i'm going the measurement is going to be seven inches by four and a half so the length is seven and then the width is four and a half I cut that out to have my two patch pockets on the front side of my dress. So to create the design that we want, we are going to attach some of the strip, striped fabric on the Ankara. So I make sure it's the same width measurement. I cut two pieces, one for each side of the pockets. And this is how I'm going to attach it to the Ankara. So I'm going to join all this and then show you how I'm going to join it actually. So I bring back my Ankara. Since I'm not going to show you how I'm going to attach it on the machine, I'm just going to demonstrate everything right here for you, to, for it to make it easier for you. So for the sleeve part, I fold my 15 inches length into two and then I'll sew it on one side of my sleeve and do same for the other. I just fold it into two and then sew it on the sleeve. And then for my front open two, I just, after attaching my long strip, I'm just going to fold it into two and then insect it or attach it all around my neck line or the front open side of my dress. So where to attach the pockets, 
I'm taking from my shoulder downwards to 20 inches length. That side will be around my hip area. That is where I'm going to patch my pockets. Okay, so I have joined all my strips together. Now I have 80 inches long strip. I'm going to fold both sides in by half an inch. So to make sure it's flat down, I'm just going to press both sides of the strip inward by half an inch. After doing this, I'm going to go back and fold it again into two. Like so. I fold the entire strip into two. And then press it down neatly. So after pressing it down, I take it back to my anchor. Here I've already patched my pockets on the front. So it's left with my front open that I'm going to attach my long strip. So I'm going to insect the anchor into my strip. Remember I folded it into two. So I open it and then I insert half an inch of the anchor into the strip. Or I sandwich the anchor into my striped strip. And then I stitch it all around from one end of the open front of my Ankara dress to the other side of the open and for the around sleeve I've already attached one so this is how I did it from the wrong side I sew a straight line on it by half an inch and then I turn it to face the correct side or the right side of the Ankara fabric and then I stop I top stitch sorry I top stitch on it so this is how it's going to look like after you're done so I'm going to quickly fix the front side and show you how it looks so guys this is all there is this is the final look of a short booboo -boo dress very easy if you follow these steps right here Yours is also going to come out as neat and beautiful as this. As usual, I'm going to put it on and show you how it looks. Okay. Alright guys, so this is how it looks when I'm styling it as a jacket. See how beautiful it came out. So, the video from the beginning of this video was me styling it as a dress. And this is me styling it as a jacket. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.